how menus reflect the social, cultural, and economic changes in American history, such as immigration, industrialization, urbanization, wars, and social movements. Menus are not just lists of dishes and prices. They are also historical documents that reveal how people have dined outside the home over time. By examining menus from different periods and places, we can learn how menus reflect the social, cultural, and economic changes in American history, such as immigration, industrialization, urbanization, wars, and social movements. One of the first factors that influenced the development of menus in America was immigration. As waves of immigrants from Europe, Asia, and Latin America arrived in the 19th and 20th centuries, they brought with them their culinary traditions and preferences. Some of them opened restaurants that catered to their own communities or to adventurous diners who wanted to try new cuisines. For example, menus from Chinese restaurants in San Francisco in the 1870s show how they adapted their dishes to suit American tastes by adding ingredients like celery and tomatoes. Menus from Italian restaurants in New York in the 1890s show how they introduced pasta and pizza to the American palate. Menus from Mexican restaurants in Los Angeles in the 1920s show how they popularized dishes like tacos and enchiladas. These menus also reveal how immigrants faced discrimination and stereotypes from mainstream society, as some of them used exotic or humorous names for their dishes or emphasized their authenticity or novelty to attract customers. Another factor that shaped menus in America was industrialization. As the country transformed from an agrarian to an urban society in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, new technologies and modes of transportation enabled the growth of hotels and restaurants that served a variety of customers. Menus from these establishments show how they offered a range of options and services to suit different budgets and occasions. For example, menus from railroad dining cars in the 1880s show how they provided fast and convenient meals for travelers who could choose from a fixed price table diot or a more expensive a la carte menu. Menus from luxury hotels like the Waldorf Astoria in New York in the 1890s show how they hosted lavish banquets and receptions for celebrities and dignitaries who could enjoy elaborate courses of French cuisine and fine wines. Menus from chain restaurants like Child's in New York in the 1910s show how they offered standardized and affordable meals for workers and families who could order from a simple bill of fare or a self-service cafeteria. A third factor that influenced menus in America was urbanization. As cities grew larger and more diverse in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, new types of venues and forms of entertainment emerged that catered to different segments of society. Menus from these places show how they reflected the tastes and values of their patrons. For example, menus from speakeasies and nightclubs in New York during Prohibition in the 1920s show how they served illegal alcohol and exotic dishes like frog legs and turtle soup to customers who sought excitement and glamour. Menus from diners and drive-ins in Los Angeles during the automobile age in the 1930s show how they served fast food and soda fountain drinks to customers who valued convenience and mobility. Menus from theme restaurants like Trader Vic's in San Francisco during the post-war boom in the 1950s show how they served Polynesian food and cocktails to customers who craved escapism and adventure. A fourth factor that affected menus in America was war. As the country participated in major conflicts like the Civil War, World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War in the 19th and 20th centuries, menus reflected how food became a matter of patriotism, rationing, propaganda, and protest. For example, menus from Union Army camps during the Civil War show how they served hardtack, salt pork, coffee, and beans to soldiers who faced shortages and hardships. Menus from Red Cross canteens during World War I show how they served sandwiches, soup, coffee, and donuts to soldiers who needed comfort and morale. Menus from Victory Gardens during World War II show how they encouraged civilians to grow their own vegetables and fruits to save food for the troops. Menus from anti-war demonstrations during the Vietnam War show how they used food as a symbol of resistance and solidarity by serving rice or bread to protesters who opposed American intervention. A fifth factor that shaped menus in America was social movements. 
as various groups fought for their rights and recognition in the 19th and 20th centuries, menus reflected how food became a tool of expression, identity, education, and activism. For example, menus from suffrage luncheons during the women's rights movement in the 1910s show how they served dishes named after prominent female leaders like Susan B. Anthony or Elizabeth Cady Stanton to celebrate their achievements. Menus from Harlem Renaissance cafes during the African-American cultural movement in the 1920s show how they served dishes inspired by African or Caribbean cuisine like jollof rice or jerk chicken to showcase their heritage. Menus from vegetarian restaurants during the health food movement in the 1960s show how they served dishes made with organic or natural ingredients like tofu or sprouts to promote their philosophy. Menus from gay bars during the LGBTQ plus rights movement in the 1970s show how they served drinks with playful or provocative names like Pink Lady or Screwdriver to express their sexuality. In conclusion, menus are more than just lists of dishes and prices. They are also historical documents that reveal how people have dined outside the home over time. By examining menus from different periods and places, we can learn how menus reflect the social, cultural, and economic changes in American history, such as immigration, industrialization, urbanization, wars, and social movements. In this section, we will explore how menus reveal the literary and artistic aspects of dining out, such as the design and typography of menus, the influence of famous writers and artists on menu choices, and the role of menus as souvenirs and collectibles. Menus are not just lists of dishes, but also expressions of culture and identity. They reflect the tastes, values, and aspirations of the people who create and consume them. They also show how dining out has evolved from a simple necessity to a form of entertainment and socialization. One of the ways menus convey meaning is through their design and typography. The style, color, and font of a menu can suggest the mood, theme, and quality of a restaurant. For example, a menu with elegant script and gold lettering may imply a high-class and expensive establishment, while a menu with bright colors and playful fonts may indicate a casual and fun place. Some menus also use illustrations, photographs, or logos to attract attention and create a visual identity. Another way menus reflect the literary and artistic aspects of dining out is through their connection to famous writers and artists. Some menus are inspired by or dedicated to influential figures in literature, art, or history. 